Hi everybody, I'm Yosa Music Director Troy Peters and I wanted to talk to you today about how to do a good job making a video audition recording. In this day and age, video auditions are more and more common and it's a different practice than playing a live audition. So here are a few ideas about how to make sure that you do your video audition well. So first of all, the most important thing with any audition is to be ready. The more you prepare, the more you practice, the more carefully you are in control of what you're doing, then the more confident you're going to feel and the more confident you're going to seem while you're auditioning. So there's no, there's no substitute for practice. Listening to recordings by professional musicians is a great way to help prepare. And these days, of course, you can use YouTube and other internet resources to find lots of different coaching and recordings on the specific things that you're going to be playing in your audition. Working with your private teacher, of course, and or your school orchestra band director is another great way to make sure that you're prepared. Once you're ready, it's really important to have a good space available to make your recording. The best place to record is a large room in your home, a living room, or an office, or some other space that's got quite a bit of room in it, if possible. That's better than a bathroom, or than the smallest bedroom in the house. It's definitely better to be in a larger room. It's also better to be in a room with furniture and fabric, whether that's blankets, or rugs, or pillows. The more you have surfaces that are a little bit absorbent for sound, then the warmer your sound tends to be. Um, it's also good to not be right in front of a flat wall, but to be in a room where there's some surfaces with different shapes. You can see behind me there are different shapes and um, surfaces, and that helps balance the sound around a little bit in the room and warm up your sound. It's important to have a music stand set up so that you are able to see your music clearly. Make sure your music stand is exactly where you want it, at the height you want it, that everything is comfortable. Uh, right now, we're in a time when many of us are at home with lots of other family members, and it's important to talk to your family and make sure everybody knows that you're going to be recording. Set aside a time in the family calendar where everybody is aware of what's going on. Maybe put up a sign as a reminder not to come in the room. Now that said, for Yosa auditions, if your little brother walks through while you're playing, you're not going to lose any points but it might be distracting to you. And so it's a good idea to let people know and make sure that everybody's supporting you in this process. Um, lighting's important. One of the best rules of thumb is that the light should come from behind the camera and above your head. What you don't wanna do is have light coming from behind you. So you don't wanna have windows behind you and you don't wanna have bright lights behind you. Um, try to have all of the lighting come from behind the camera and above. And in general, recording when there's daylight coming in windows that are not behind you is a great plan. The recording device can be any kind of a thing that's capable of doing digital video recording. So that can be a smartphone, that can be a computer, that can be a um, tablet, that can even be a camera. You know, sometimes people even have actual digital video cameras. And so try to, try to make sure that you've got that device, that you're familiar with using it. It's important to set up that device in landscape orientation, where the frame is wider from left to right, and not in portrait orientation, where the frame is taller from top to bottom. So the way that a lot of us think of holding a phone when we shoot video is, usually portrait orientation. You want to rotate that 90 degrees and get landscape orientation. An external mic helps when you're recording an instrument, but it isn't required. Um, almost anybody is not going to be judging your technology, your recording equipment. They're going to be judging what they're hearing you play. But what a good mic does is make it easier for us to hear what you're doing and hear you clearly and well. Um, a tripod is also not necessary. You can get creative about setting up stacks of books or pillows or other things to cradle your cell phone or to cradle your laptop to give you a way to have your camera set up where it needs to be. Make sure you're not too close to the camera. Um, you, if, when you're playing an instrument, if, if it's too close to the camera, it can overload the audio. 
And so eight to 10 feet is a good guideline for the distance from the camera. And that also helps you do something else that's important, which is to include your whole body in the shot. We don't wanna just see some weird picture of your left hand playing the instrument or just your ear. We wanna see your body so that we can see your position while you play. So don't uh, set your shots too tight. Don't get the camera too close and try to show us your whole setup while you're playing. Dressing nicely is a good idea. Um, again, no one's judging you on your wardrobe, but you want to make sure that you're wearing pants, you wanna make sure, or a skirt. You wanna make sure that you are um, representing yourself well. I'm in a t-shirt today and I'm somewhat casual, but to be honest, if I were recording an audition video, I would probably put on a shirt with a tie. You don't have to wear a tie, you're younger than I am, but think about how you look and trying to present yourself in the best way possible. You wanna test your setup, go ahead and record a little bit of your audition and then stop and listen to it. How does it look? How does it sound? Is it working the way you want it to work? If you're auditioning for Yosa, we have written instructions on exactly what steps to follow as you do the audition. What to say, what order the elements should be done in. If you're doing any other audition, they usually have the same thing. So make sure you read those written instructions and follow them carefully. What do you do first? What do you do second? Um, when you come to recording the audition itself, try not to stop every time you make a mistake. Yes, you can make multiple takes, and that's a good thing. But if you make a mistake in the third measure and you stop, and then you start again, and you make a mistake in the fourth measure and you stop, if you do that too many times, you start to psych yourself out. And so my experience has been that it's much better to just say, I'm gonna play this whole audition from start to finish. Do the whole thing. You might wanna watch it, or you might wanna just keep going and say, all right, here comes take two play the whole thing from start to finish. And then if there are pieces of the audition that you wanna do again, you can consider that. For Yosa auditions, you can do your excerpts and your solos separately and then put them together in one video. What you can't do is edit within a piece or selection. And you wanna be careful not to try and sneak in any edits because when people see that, that will usually disqualify you for the audition. Bottom line, Relax and show us what you can do. The more carefully you prepare and the more naturally and comfortably you appear on camera, the better off you're going to be. Good luck with your audition. We're all looking forward to seeing and hearing you play. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.